Lions TV, the seventh signing through the door in this season on transfer deadline day for Gary Rowett. is 22-year-old midfielder, if he is a midfielder, Ryan Longman from Hull City on loan until the end of the season. What this did primarily is it triggered a lot of people's memories about George Honeyman, of course. Right midfielder on paper, maybe a 10, come from Hull. Um, and a lot of people, I've had a few DMs, a few of my mates message me saying, what's fucking happened to Honeyman? I don't know, by the way. Of course, he went off injured in the Gillingham pre-season friendly. That's an interesting one. If anyone's got any information on that, don't be shy to share it in the comments below. But yeah, look, we signed 22-year-old Ryan Longman, originally from Red Hill in Surrey, did his youth career at Brighton under the management of Mark Beard, who I spoke to today. Uh, Beard is really excited about this one. Of course, he's a big Mill fan and obviously holds... A place in his heart for Brighton as well, having worked there for so long and brought a lot of those players through the academy in a really, really strong side under Mark Beard. He said to me today on the phone, he actually sent me a voice note, but it's, it's very echo. He was in his car at the time, probably with a big cigar out driving a Bentley, knowing Beardy. But look, he said that Longman is versatile for one, and Gary Rout has alluded to that in the club's video that they've put out on social media, saying he can play left wing back, right wing back, centre forward. Um, and on the right wing as well, I thought he's primarily, I think his strongest position is a right-sided striker midfielder, one of these sort of new positions that have come in over the last few years. But Beardy said he reminds him of a Jimmy Carter type player. Very quick, knocks it past players, likes to get on the ball, get crosses into the box, powerful, technical, both feet. So for me, this is one that I don't know too much about and I'm excited to see how it progresses. As I said earlier, I think he's from Red Hill in Surrey. I was over that way today, actually. So maybe... You know, the whole managerial merry-go-round that they've had up there. Maybe the new manager doesn't fancy him. Maybe or he was obviously bought in by a previous manager. Maybe he's a little bit homesick. Hole, of course, is short for shit hole. So maybe he wants to be back down. Did his apprenticeship, as I said, at Brighton. And maybe, you know, down this way is where he wants to be. It's a much nicer part of the world. But that's not hard in comparison to Hull, is it? I've seen a little bit of negativity about this one online. So I hope that Longman comes in and proves a few people wrong. I do feel that we're sort of lacking a bit in that area. Volsam has gone now. We was missing Oli Burke. I thought he was going to come back. That now isn't obviously going to happen. So I definitely feel there's a position to be filled there when we play the one up top and the two wide strikers. I feel that Watmore's got one of those positions nailed down for himself. A lot of you will be screaming SA and Amaku at the screen. I like them both. If I start one of them, I'd start Amaku at the minute. But I feel that we shouldn't put too much pressure on them. They need time to progress in their own time. I wouldn't stick either of those out on loan. Maybe yes, I would. I feel we'd really shine if we did. Um, and Maku, I feel, is pretty much ready, and I'd like to see him involved. I don't think Gary Rout's going to put that much trust in him. And I think Longman, as I said, if we do play those positions, will be sort of in the fold. As I've already mentioned in the show, he's very, very versatile, so he can play in a number of positions. And as we know, Gary Rowett loves that. But yeah... A lot of negativity online earlier about, about Longman saying uh, two clubs don't want him, he's shit, he's, uh, he's got a bad knee, my mate's a whole fan, everyone's got a mate that's a whole fan all of a sudden, um, and he's no good, they said he's shit. But look, comes from very good pedigree, Brighton a very strong club now, as I said, come through a strong youth side, only 22 years old, could he come down south and, and sort of revive and revamp himself? And then uh, probably do really well. And I'm getting sold to a different club that uh, offer more wages than we do at the end of the season. We've been there before, but look, he's through the door for now. And it's only good news as far as I'm concerned. Ryan Longman signs from Hull City on loan until the end of the season. I'll be back very shortly. Gotta cut that off. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.